big red pig, also known as the Honda XR650R. Some have called it the world's best dirt bike that flopped because it was released at the wrong time. Released in 2000, it replaced the hugely successful XR600, which began in 1985. The 600 was a prime example of what the Japanese could achieve back in the days when they were passionate about making the best dirt bikes, instead of being controlled by their accountants nowadays. For years, the 600 was the bike for desert racing and kept winning at Baja relentlessly, until eventually the more powerful, lighter Kawasaki KX500 entered the scene. The XR650R was a completely new bike with a much more powerful engine in an alloy frame and a dry weight of only 130 kilograms. It continued to win many of the desert races, but the timing sucked. The age of the 450 four-stroke enduro bike had arrived and the market was moving toward these lighter, more nimble bikes instead of desert racing models. Sadly, production of the XR650R was cancelled in 2008 and in its place was the emasculated XR650L. Way less power, way more weight and dicky suspension. Do you want sex? Here is a chance to be so cool with these traction e-rag stickers. There is a high probability that you will get laid. The Big Red Pig still has a strong fan base today, and you can see why. It produced so much power, but was matched with incredible reliability. Along with handling and suspension that puts most of the current big four four strokes to shame. Currently, the only high performance big four thumper is the KTM 690, and many argue Honda would take a huge chunk of their market share if the XR was released again, but with an electric button. I'm one of the many people who are disappointed with the 690 KTM and would love to see a much more reliable, well-designed Japanese equivalent on the market. Could the XR650R sell again today? Well, there's a strong dual sport market and the rapidly expanding adventure bike market too. And there are many riders buying bikes like the DR650 and modifying them and spending a fortune to make them more like an XR650R. The most common issues with a reintroduced 650 Honda would be the tall seat height, the small fuel tank and no electric start. So, a redesigned seat could make the bike a bit lower. There are still aftermarket tanks around, but a bigger tank would surely not be hard for Honda to design. And Honda actually did an electric start version for their 650 Quad, so that should be an easy fix. Sadly, the Japanese brands are happy to let the European brands be the innovators nowadays. So, it's very unlikely we'll see the big red pig brought back. Which is sad, as it's one hell of a big bore thumper that deserves to live on.